happening today. President Trump is cutting short his trade meetings in Canada to head to the long-anticipated summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. The president will leave for Singapore this morning and already has plans for the long flight. I have work. I have about 15 boxes of work. I will be able to work without being bothered by phone calls. Final. Final preparations are underway for their historic summit, which will take place Tuesday at the Capella Hotel on Sentosa Island. Security is expected to get much tighter as the summit approaches, and all of the airspace above Singapore will be restricted. The White House is demanding complete denuclearization. So far, Kim Jong-un has made no promises other than to say he's willing to talk about it. President Trump says the talks will be a friendly negotiation and all about attitude. If the talks go badly, he's willing to walk out, he says. He's also threatened to keep harsh U.S. sanctions in place if North Korea doesn't agree to denuclearize. Before taking off, President Trump and other world leaders were all smiles for the group photo at the G7 summit in Canada. But talks were tense thanks to the president's newly imposed tariffs on imported metals from Canada, Mexico and the European Union. President Trump and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau met one-on-one -on -one and afterwards made a joke about their differences. Justin has agreed to cut all tariffs <laughs> and all trade barriers <laughs> between Canada and the United States. So uh, I'm very happy so about I'd say that. NAFTA's in good shape. But we are actually working <laughs> on it. President Trump is missing out on discussions on climate change at the G7 summit today. An aide is said to be sitting in for him.